Okay. I ain't even touched the thing and it started back recording. But, okay, that's all good. But, I, like I said, I had to change the scenery. Because, you know, that one ain't got no problem doing what he do. So, anyway, my reaction to it is that, um... First of all, I didn't like that music playing with it because it's like, I don't know if y'all ever, you, I know some of y'all in here have watched that um, TV show Cheetahs. And that, the whole thing about that, that shit used to irk me when, you know, they have the people telling the story and they have that, oh my God, that music used to be like, I always said, I said, if I ever had to appear on that show, I would tell them, look, cut that music. I don't want that shit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I know you want to make it seem dramatic. I'm going to make it dramatic any damn way because, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to catch my nigga cheating. So I don't need that damn, um, what you, oh, shit. Hell, damn near almost like, you know, funeral music. Like, you know, uh uh-uh, don't play that shit behind me. Hell no, don't play that with me. You want to play something, play something up. Fine, fine, fine. You know, don't do that. So anyway, um, I'm just saying, I didn't like the music behind it. Like, it was just so made, it just made him just so much more, you know, sensitive to the situation. And I ain't, (laughs) yeah. But um, he looked good. He wanted her to let. He wanted her to. He wanted to flex that haircut, right? He wanted to let her know, hey, my shit done. I know you how you like me, that. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know that's how it just happened. I don't care. You know, with your dude and stuff. Then you see him. He looking all good and shit. You like you my fucker. So you know you can't deny. I don't care what you're going through. You still got hey. I fuck it look good, he look good, so yeah. Mm hmm. So uh yeah, I gotta get my notes. Hey, who don't? Me do Okay, um what the fuck did I start it? Oh yeah, right here. Right here. I love y'all. But, um, and you know, I miss y'all so much. I mean, it's coming, it's coming. Don't y'all forget to go check out my Amazon wish list. And if y'all, okay, did y'all ever let me know that y'all, that, uh, you found it? I mean, like I said, even if you ain't purchasing nothing and you just went up there to look, to check it out, um, let me know in the comments that you seen it. At least let me know that because I don't know if, you know, did it go through or what? But anyway, yeah, comment below and let me know, you know, all that went. Just so, It ain't even got to be but one or two. Just let me know that, you, yeah, you know, that shit is up. All right. But, um. Then he go to say, he said that, you know, he know a lot of people were praying for their downfall. Mm, I mean, I swear, I can speak for myself. I wasn't speaking for their downfall. You know, I just felt like it was just, you know, they was on two different levels. That's all that was. You got to pray on somebody's downfall. Now, I don't know. And you got some hating ass motherfuckers and some heathens and shit out here. That do actually envy people and do look at it like they wish them no good. So I get it. Yeah, I understand that. But as far as me, brother, I ain't wish for no downfall. I wish after a minute, I thought maybe it would work. Especially after the little picnic little thing went on. It's okay with it. Then the nigga might be changing. You know, because, yeah, hell yeah, in the beginning, I was very skeptical. I was like, you know, nah, he ain't ready. You know, he he just not ready for nobody like Ellie. But I didn't start changing my mind until, like I said, that time they did that picnic. 
because I think, you know, the little, the, um, the little thing he did with her when she was sick, yeah, it's the thought that count, but come on, man, you, you buying a $100,000 car and getting one built, and all you can get is grocery store flowers and a uh, cup in the soup for her. Oh, please. I, uh-uh. No, you didn't. You better call somebody motherfucking florist and look on somebody's shit and Uber me some uh, gourmet soup. Uh-uh. So, you know, that was a, that, that wasn't cute for me. But, I mean, you know, hey, to each his own. I'm just saying, hey, <laughs> hey. When you in the queen's quarters, you be treated like a queen. What the fuck? That's all I'm saying. Shit. Now, I'm just saying. That wasn't cute for me. But he redeemed it when he did his little picnic thing. Because I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this shit might work. Okay, she come, he, she, you know, she bringing him around. Yeah. But, um, no, I never wish it on no praying on nobody downfall. And uh, he said that uh, he went and he said that this shit genuine. I mean, at this point here, you know, like I said in um, and I ain't say I mean that'd be some hard shit. That's a damn skit and prank that. You know what I'm saying? It really would make me say the hell with both of them because you don't do shit like that. You don't pull that kind of prank, not for, you know what I'm saying? Hell no. That ain't how you do that. Then you got your mama involved in it too. That'd be, now that would be some real deep shit there that I'd be like, what? Especially I don't sit here because my motherfucking feelings hurt. Especially after I seen the whole video and the way y'all see my hand. Hey, hey y'all, hey y'all. Y'all do y'all see my hand? Y'all don't. Yeah, you do. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Look at my earring. Anyway, I'm just saying, now, food. But anyway, um, let me stone trap. I forget what the fuck I was about to say. What is about to happen? Let me look at my damn notes. Uh... Oh, yeah. Better real because my damn better. But, yeah, he, um, damn. I said he redeemed himself when he did that picnic thing. Yeah. I thought the shit was going to work, but, you know, um, he said it won't no choice on his end. And I can believe that, too. I believe it won't on his end because she just got fed up with his damn controlling ways. That's all. And uh, at least, you know, she took the chance to try to see if it could work. And I'm just glad that she was smart enough to realize, you know, how far that she wanted to take it to see, you know, because you got to try some shit out before you don't never know. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't never know until you know. That's all I'm saying. So she had to try the shit out and see you know, what was really up. And then, so, I mean, at least she was smart enough to know when to say when. You know, it won't know two and three damn years later. That's the part that I like. Shit. Ain't no need to invest in some shit. Ain't no need to keep investing in some shit that every day, you know what I'm saying, you miserable. And it don't change. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how good the good is. It don't make up for how miserable you are. You know what I'm saying? That shit just don't work. It just don't. That's why that shit real. Money can't buy love. It damn sure can't. Money can't buy love. Shit. Make you play around with it, but it can't make you, you know, you can't fall in love with nobody. You know, uh, over because of what material things and all that shit because then you know that mean that you ain't really into them you ain't it ain't even about 
the heart is about the pocket. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers see it. This shit. And uh, he was like, has it changed his life? Yeah, I'm sure she did. She showed him some things because, you know, that's what it do. New people in your life always going because you learn something new every day. You understand what I'm saying? And that's just come along when you meet somebody and getting to know them. They may know some shit that you don't know, but that's why I say, you know, it's it's always the ignorant person that don't want to say, don't want to learn or say, oh, I didn't know that, you know. But there's too many of people out here with their pride that will, will make them cut their tongue out before they say them three words. I didn't know that. Yeah. That shit don't even exist no more. Used to, I could, you, I used to, when I listen and, and uh, <laughs> you know, talk to people and shit or, you know, family and stuff, you don't hear that shit no more. Oh, I ain't know that. Unless you gossiping about telling them something about somebody they don't know. Now, you know, even with that some damn time, it's still, you know, you ain't going to hear it. But anyway. That's neither here or there. Okay. He said they both alike. And I disagree with it. No, they I don't know. They not no, they definitely not alike. Not only way I can feel like that he can he talking about they alike as far as them, you know, the grind never stopping. Because, you know, she on her grind as well. You know, she got her own business. So that's the only thing I can see that he talking about they are like on for going for going for their grind. But as far as um, emotional-wise and personality and character, they don't. No, hell no. They totally different. Because um, I don't see. I see she been a strong headed. I be I believe she one of the ones that you know when she is definitely put it this way. She not gonna eat when she about what she about. You can't come in and easily change her mind. But on other stuff, she willing to compromise with. But something that's true to her, she you know she gonna stay in her ground and see with him. He I feel like he the type of person that. You know what I'm saying? He not good with somebody cha- challenging him when it comes to what well, he say. You know, he like to involve her decision and stuff. But you know, that was just for the camera. I don't. I think he was controlling. Yeah. And then he dropped a dime and he said that, now, you know, in Ellie video, she said that she ain't going back. And, you know, um, well, she didn't say she won't 